In this question, you are being asked to identify the internal rate of return, the IRR, of the project that's mentioned above. The IRR is the rate at which the MPV of a project equates to nil, and the formula for calculating the IRR has been noted below. Where A and B represent two separate rates, and MPV A and MPV B represent the respective MPVs that have been calculated using those rates. The detail of the question reveals that using an interest rate of 10%, the net present value of a particular project has been calculated as $50. We're also told that if this interest rate increases by 1%, the MPV of the project falls by $20. Now, it's very important that you interpret the information correctly. Where it says the interest rate has increased by 1% implies that if the original rate is 10%, the increase must mean that the rate here is 11%. Likewise, with the project MPV falling by $20, if originally it was $50, this must imply that the project MPV falls to $30. In other words, it is the 50 less the 20. Now, it shouldn't really matter which rate you take as A or B, as long as the associated MPVs matched to those rates are correct. And so for the purpose of my workings, I'm going to assume that rate A is 10% and the respective MPV using rate A is $50. Rate B is 11% and the respective MPV using rate B is $30. Now it's simply a case of plugging these numbers into my formula below. So let's do precisely that. 10% plus the MPV using that rate, which was 50, divide this by the 50 less the 30, multiplied by 11% less the 10%. Let's just expand out this formula a little bit further. 10% is the same as saying 0 0.1. We can simplify the next bit of the equation as $50 divided by 20 and 11% minus 10% equals 1%, which is the same as saying 0 0.01. Now, if I plug this through my calculator, what I will get is 0 0.125. And this is the same as saying 12.5%. And if I look to my options available in this question, that does present me with option three or option C as the answer to this question.